All right. It's the end of a, another beautiful day in Roby, Texas. And here's your DIY documentary tip number 342. Manage your expectations. I came into this thinking I could shoot a hundred different things, B-roll interviews, all these things. You can only manage so much in a day. Physically, it's physics. I'm getting up at sunrise and capturing golden hour in the morning. Then I'm going and shooting B-roll and interviews through the day. And as the sun sets, I'm either shooting one of these behind the scenes things or I'm shooting a crane shot. I've got a drone shot picked out for tomorrow at sunset. And what I'm realizing is I'm not doing anything good. I'm just doing a lot of stuff right now. And um, it's frustrating. I hope I'm getting something I can use, but at the same time, I'm learning to be more smart with your time. For example, I had this cool idea that I'd go to all the ghost towns in Fisher County. What I didn't think about, it was literally take me between 20 and 30 minutes to drive to every one of these little towns and that I'd have to set up and shoot. And it took me almost two days of my 10 day schedule to shoot one little concept that when I cut it together realistically it's going to be about three minutes of the film if, if, if that much and if I was smart and I'd done more planning and more pre-production and thought it through more I'd realize is that three minutes of content worth two days of production I hope so but right now I've just done another interview I'm exhausted, I'm gonna go in the house, I'm gonna download all the footage, erase the cards, start charging all the batteries and get ready for tomorrow. But uh, just some advice for DIY documentary people, pre-production, plan, think through, and really think about how much this is gonna add value to your final film. Good news is, is the day is done, the sun is gone so I can't shoot anything else. It was a beautiful sunset.